Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to extract values from a matrix based on the row and column names of this matrix. In the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the example matrix that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new matrix has been created which is called my matrix. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 5 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a matrix with 3 rows and 5 columns, whereby the row names of this matrix are called row 1, row 2 and row 3. And the column names of this matrix are called call 1, 2, call 5. Now let's assume that we want to extract certain columns of our matrix. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 7. And in this line of code, I'm specifying that I want to subset our matrix so that only the columns with the names call2 and call5 are retained. And for this, I need to open square brackets after the name of our matrix. Then I need to write a comma. And then I need to use the C function to specify the names of the columns that I want to keep. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new matrix object, which is called my matrix call. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that a new matrix object appears at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And now you can see at the bottom that we have created a new matrix subset, which is containing all rows of our matrix. However, it contains only the two columns called 2 and called 5. So in the first example, I have explained how to extract certain columns from our matrix using the column names of our matrix. However, it is also possible to extract certain rows of our matrix by using the row names of the matrix. And this is what I want to show you in the second example, starting at line 10 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm again subsetting our matrix by opening square brackets and by using the C function. However, this time I'm specifying the names of the rows I want to keep. And this is very important. I'm specifying the comma that I have specified before in front of the C function, now after the C function to tell R that I want to subset rows and not columns. So if you run line 10 of the code, another matrix is created at the top right of our studio, which is called my matrix row. And we can print this updated matrix to the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another subset of our matrix, which contains only two rows, the row number two and the row number three, but all columns of our input matrix. So in the first and in the second example, I have explained how to extract either certain columns or certain rows of our matrix. However, it is also possible to extract certain rows and certain columns of a matrix at the same time. And this is what I want to show you in the last example of this tutorial in lines 13 to 15 of the code. So in lines 13 and 14, I'm again subsetting our data frame by using square brackets. However, this time I'm specifying the rows that I want to keep in front of the comma. And then I'm specifying the columns that I want to keep after the comma. So in this case, I want to keep the rows number one and number three and only the columns column one, column four and column five. So if you run lines 13 and 14 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that another matrix object appears, which is called my matrix call row. And we can print this matrix to the RStudio console by running line 15 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created another matrix subset based on the column and row names of our matrix. And this subset is consisting of the first and the third row and only the first, fourth and fifth column of our matrix. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to subset a matrix based on the row and column names of this matrix. 
However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.